Hi, today you will learn how to create this beautiful hanging letters animation. You can use this effect to create interesting title slides, section headers and so much more. Let us learn how to do this from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We share creative PowerPoint ideas to help professionals like you create engaging presentations. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to create just one prototype. Once we have one character in place, we will duplicate that, change the letter and we will create the title the way we want. So let us get going. First, let us insert a character. Let me go to the home tab, pick up the text box tool and write a character. Maybe we will say R. So that is Ram Gopal. So let me select this and then go to to send empty contents extra bold. I have chosen a bolder font, so the effect looks quite nice. So let me select this and really increase the size. I'm going to go for the maximum size here, which is 96. Still, it can be bigger. So I am going to increase the size somewhere around this size. Yeah, that looks good. Now I want to have it in a brighter color. So let us go to shape format, go to text fill, and let us have this in a bright blue color and let us have the text outline as white color. The reason why I chose white color for the outline is I'm going to add a shadow to the text. So let us go to text effects, go to shadow and then choose this option here. Now I can see that the shadow is not pronounced enough. So let me go to the same option once again, go to shadow and go all the way down and click on this option to open up format shape, text options and effects options. And here in shadow, I'm going to increase the size. So let me increase the size to somewhere around, yeah, this is a good one, 107%. And let me change the distance so that it looks a little further away. Now that looks quite convincing. Now that we have the character, we need to put a small hole here so we can hang it by a thread. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the oval tool, hold the shift button and draw a circle and then add inner shadow to this. So let me right click on this, go to effects option and here you can see the effects option, shadow and let us go to presets and the preset I'm going to use is this one called as inner shadow inside top. Now I can go to shape fill and have it in white fill. Go to shape outline and I can have no outline. Now let us place this on the character and I can see that the size is a bit too much. So let me hold the shift button down as I click and drag from the corner. Now that size looks pretty decent to me. I can place it somewhere over here. Now the next step is to hang it by a thread. So I'm going to use the lines tool from Auto Shapes Gallery and draw a really long line like this. Give it black color and then I'm going to have the weight increased to somewhere around one and a half points. Now I'm going to move this line so it hangs the character. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. Now you can see that when I zoom out that the line extends far beyond the slide area. There is a reason for it. I'm going to apply fly-in animation for the entire group and it will have a bounce. If your thread ends right at the edge of the slide, it'll look weird. So I need to have this extending beyond the slide area. Then to give it a little more natural look, I'm going to draw a small knot here. It is a very simple thing to do. I'm going to zoom in pretty nicely so you can see what I'm going to do here. Let me go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From lines, I can pick up one of the scribble tools here. So this is a scribble tool. I can just draw something from this edge and just have this hang out like that. That's it. And have this in the same black color and have this for the same one and a half points. Now it looks as if this is a thread with a small knot here. Perfect. Now let us go back to the original slide size. Now let us select everything by pressing Ctrl A and that ensures that even the line is selected. Let us press Ctrl G to group. And this is important for us to group the whole thing so that the effect applies to everything. Then let us add animation. Let us go to animations and say fly in animation. And this needs to fly in from the top. So that is how the fly in happens. And we need to have this happen for one second so that the effect is a little more pronounced. And to make it a little more dramatic, we are going to have a bit of bounce effect. So let us go to animation pane. 
go to the animation event click on the drop down menu go to effect options and say bounce end and keep it somewhere to the center and say ok now you can see that that looks quite nice now while this falls into the scene i want to add one more animation to add a bit of drama so let us select this add animation and the animation i want to add is teeter animation by default the duration is one second i want to have that for two seconds and hit enter and let us have this with previous now observe how this whole thing works on a click this is how it enters the scene and it teeters now to make this effect look a little more dramatic i am going to make it tweeter couple more times so let us select the same object and let us add the repeat function here so let us go to this event for teeter go to the drop down menu go to effect options go to timing and say let it repeat for three times and say okay now when i go to slideshow on a click you can see that that is how the teeter happens and it continues for a little longer now let me hit escape now we have got one prototype ready now let us make duplicates of this character complete with animation and then replace the characters with the character of our choice so let me select this press ctrl d and then i'm going to place this somewhere a little down and let us change this to a the positioning is perfect if you want you can always select the character and move it to the left or to the right using your arrow key and then i am going to have this in a different font color so let me go to home and have the font color change to maybe this bright orange color now that looks beautiful now i don't really have to change much because it already has the animation now let me create a duplicate by selecting this by pressing ctrl d and let me place this over here you can see that i am purposely varying the distance between the characters and the height so it looks more natural so let me select m and then once again select the character and then move it so it looks a little more correct and then let us go to the font color and choose something else maybe this color is a good one now let me complete the rest of the characters Now I've completed creating all the characters. Let us see the animation pane here. You can see that all of these are happening on a click. So let us select all of these and say they all happen with previous. So let us go to animations and say start with previous. Now it may not look so dramatic. We need to add a bit more drama by adding some delay to some of the characters. So let me select some of these characters at random. Let them fall at different times. So I've selected this, this, and this and let us introduce a delay of 0.25 seconds let us select some more like say this this and this and have them introduced with a 0.5 seconds delay and maybe the first one this one and this one can be with 0.75 delay so i have tried to add a bit of delay to various characters and make sure that the corresponding teeter happens with the previous one so let us select this and say with previous once again so it aligns with the original starting point here so let me do the same thing with the various ones wherever i have added a bit of delay now when i go to slideshow let us see how the effect looks on a click you can see that the various ones are hanging in and they are teetering quite nicely and then they finally settle to a stable position you can always add any background like this cloud and then the effect looks even more interesting i got this background of cloud from pixabay.com when you go to pixabay and search for cloud you get this background I hope you really liked this simple yet creative custom animation in PowerPoint. If you want to learn even more such tricks, we have put together a short playlist of videos here. You can always click on the link and start watching the videos and build on your animation skills in PowerPoint. So go ahead, click on the link here and start watching the video playlist.